just introduce you on that actually what we are covering on that actually the, this is the mm. one overview of our saas visual analytics saas visual analytics is divided in two parts actually one come with a saas visual analytics which works on the reporting side and saas visual statistics which works on the statistical modeling side actually okay you are enterprise miner which is a of 60 50 to 60% on saas visual statistics we can do it that kind, that much of a work with the saas visual in the statistics as saas is totally want to move it on to the web so they are trying slowly to move all the products into the website uh, website yeah so there is this basic idea is that actually going forward uh, and okay. saas visual analytics as it's a reporting tool and one of the we are covering in the training sessions is lecture or in a overview how do i get started with a visual analytics on a home page starting with an additional page explore what we exploration what's basics are there and we will be covering an actual designers how we uh, create our reports and other things from a designer point of view visual builder is used for both visual statistics as well as in a saas and a reporting side where you will be building your queries how you build and how you join the tables and other things how the filter conditions are been added to that side we will do that in the query builder very announcement is there starting with a saas mobile bi i'll able to pass, uh, walk you through only about the powerpoint presentation not able to show you in real time scenario because i have been using the saas visual statistics server side somebody is different okay okay hmm? then essentials how we go in the visual home page base visual analytics reports how we create on analytic explorer these are the things we will be covering in that actually okay okay huh then create uh, then we will uh, pass on to the how of creating the visualization how do i do actually i'll be able to show you how the visual exploration will be done how we visualize the data how the things will come into that and other things then i'll show you how to create table cross tabs in that enhancing the bar chart bubble plot tree maps using the decision tree work cloud text analytics a little bit i'll be touching based on that not we are going in depth in that okay and we are using in network diagram as well as in a geo map i hope probably you are aware on the geo map where uh, yeah. we will show the coordinations using the data and in that mm-hmm. actually we will show it how much is how where the uh, segmentation or segregation of a data and where and how it's coming across the world actually we can create that also so i'll be covering little bit on the correlation matrix as well as forecast and perform scenario analysis a little bit not in depth on that because if you have a statistical background you will be fair understanding on that side uh, did uh-huh. you work any time on the creation of statistical models or anything on that Right. uh not not very much um, but i i uh, have knowledge on that okay so when it comes to the visual analytic designer here the basically a technical guy step in where he will be creating his basic reports as well as an advanced reports and advanced report using a tables and cross table and as bar chart pie chart bubble line chart dashboard style reporting that include alerts we will be creating working with a geo map reports object this these are the where actually if you look into the credit card segmentations are there are telecom where where my which tower is giving how much my revenue is there we can do it on how much load is coming on each tower whether another tower is required other things those things can be seen actually in this through the geo map actually okay then okay. we will uh, work creating how to create a new data items in that actually add the interaction sections where we will be doing actually from one navigation to another navigation for example i have a table actually where it will be showing me like take example segmentation wise or north east west south kind of a thing or uh, if i click on a south region actually that will show in another table where we will get a top 10 customers kind of a thing or that geographical how it distributed in the south a geo map can be shown it based on the requirement we can give a uh, graphs there actually as well as a top 10 customers kind of a thing so that is the interaction sections where we will be doing inside the reports as well as we can do the external uh, report also if i click on the, like southeast on a hierarchy region i can open a new report in another and we can show that also okay, okay? then we will be adding the control parameters prompts on that okay 
share the reports print and sh schedule the distribution how we are going to schedule it and other things because if data is refreshing for us say suppose weekly daily or quarterly monthly or fortnightly whatever the requirement as per the requirement we can schedule that distribution of that actually hello and if you have no any, no no please ask me yeah. okay yeah uh -huh. so we yeah, will no, be no. like yeah we will be accessing the data how to load and import the data through the query builder also creating in memory tables using append and the star schema and then we will move on to a sas visual analytic administrator okay these are my topics actually on administrator i'll be touch basing you how to laser server analytics servers and laser tables will be there how the folders libraries and tables are there how you can use administrator users and visual analytic group members and metadata security and other things as i say sas mobile ba only i can walk through you through the powerpoint presentation in real scenario i'll not able to show cost you how to work on that i can walk through you and i can show you actually where you need to do on that actually apart from this i'll be covering it actually how the data will be loaded through the servers through the local desktop what are the limitations of that huh? and how can you see whether my table is loaded or not those things can be covered in the as a part of the training okay so i'll walk you through a little bit on this like actually okay. what what the requirement i mean do you have the software uh, for this uh, for uh, practicing in all uh, practicing we will try it actually but i can show cause you everything actually whatever i'm talking it how the data will be loaded and other things because i am really don't know where you stay rashikar i am in hyderabad gachibali oh gachibali so we can plan it uh, one day kind of a thing if you want to do the hands on because as you know it software is not available because it comes with a laser server yeah laser the laser server is very important and you can't install on the uh, standalone kind of a thing here in the sas visual analytics okay so, so there is a reason we need to access to the servers so i've been using these servers from one of the organization so mm. work through my laptop only and if you are in the hyderabad so like we can plan it on weekend probably maybe at your home or my home or uh, my coordinator can arrange some place we can we sit together and you can do the practice for an hour four to five hours is that fine yeah that's fine yeah so the uh, plan will be like actually i'll walk through you the powerpoint presentation simultaneously i'll show you how it's work on a visual stat uh, analy uh, analytics va and after that actually probably we can sit for a four to five hours and you can have a hands on feel on that okay so that's all so this is how actually visual aesthetic and okay. basically these are the four people will come actually analyst report design data administrator and sas administrators analyst okay. is exploring the data as i say a uh, statistical modeler or somebody actually want to see how is data and based on that actually he can ask the technical guy to build his data preparation kind of a thing or he himself build on that kind of a thing if you remember enterprise guide sas enterprise guide uses a lot of a statistical modelers mm -mm -mm. so it works on a similar kind of a thing where he can connect to the using a data builder he can connect the data bring the data into the laser server and from there he can see a visual how it works kind of a thing the report designer is the one actually who create the reports he can create list tab cross tabulate maps cross all the things actually how my data looks and other things based on the requirement okay a data administrator is the one guy actually who prepare the data he can means he can create a uh, external data itself only in the sas data self or a database side and bring that data into the sas laser server by connecting using the sas visual uh, analytics and put it in the laser server once the data is available in the laser server then the reporting guy can add it so these two are kind of a mix and match in some organization people provide that actually a uh, developer a data administrator role also okay and sas administrator is the he is the one guy who manages a complete environment of sas visual analytics where he will be like creating folders giving access users access scheduling loading of a data 
and everything he will be taking care of that any any no. question on the slides no no so benefits what benefits we will be get from a saas visual analytics so you users can enhance the analytic power of their data explore the new data source investigate and then create because of its in memory the saas visual analytics is very fast when compared to using uh, enterprise miner or other so this is the one of the uh, uh, say, uh, kpis or we can say a selling point for the visual analytics okay user okay. okay. can easily easily share those visual reports he can share visual reports through the web through the mobile through the tab anywhere so enable users to apply the power of analytic to massive amount of data as it's in memory it's totally depend upon your hardware so if it's available then in memory the process is very fast on that side okay the data is depend limitation is on the in memory empower users to visual explore the data which i was saying that actually majorly that statistical guy will explore the data based on the variety of measures and amazing fast speed enables users to share insight with anyone who can via web or mobile device which was mentioning it end user cannot delete the data once loaded however an admin can delete the user from that side okay this okay. is how your visual analytic home page looks so we will go through each and everything later on on this part how the reports how content can be done and everything one by one and i'll show you by as all the things in that okay yeah. uh, this is how you will be adding the source on that side data servers and local servers on that side so any questions on this side mm, not not so far so this is how we will be covering on a brief note uh, which i will be covering if i am missing anything if you want to add anything just let us know we will add that part also because i cover a lot of our trainings so like uh, from base as to uh, even including saas admin also i think platform administration and other things okay so so the um, ut is the analytical part also um, the regression Hello. and no 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 i'll touch base with you as i said actually that's become a different track right i do take that because i work on a statistical models building and other things that's the reason i initially as do have a, a statistical background okay so i create i create the models for uh, what you call a credit card and what age and other things i work on a credit and market risk both the things okay so uh, i got uh, to learn, I, i i got a training from a saas india for a saas visual analytics and recently mm-hmm. also i got on a training from saas with a hadoop also which we call a big data and other things yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, i work on a real time and after once i started working on a work on a project i start giving the training on that okay so, so i give the corporate as well as this trainings okay so any questions so when when you feel we can start and second major important question mm-hmm. how do you want to have a classes uh, it's like uh, daily one hour in the morning uh,